Daphne here from Steam Design Lab. This video starts off where part A ended. This time, we'll be using a hot glue gun to make a few modifications. You'll need a glue gun and glue sticks, a sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper, some masking tape, and a pencil. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a marker. First, roll a sheet of paper around the pencil to form a tube. Keeping the tube tight, add a piece of masking tape at the center, then at both ends. Next, apply a piece of tape across the seam along the entire length of the tube. Then mark and cut the tube into half-inch pieces. I'll be using two of these tube segments to create a bushing for the green pencil on my throwing arm. This will strengthen that interface and help to make the arm movement smooth and consistent. Place a tube segment onto the pencil, then push and twist the tube into the pivot hole on the box. Do the same thing on the other side. Before adding the glue around the tubes, push your pencil through both sides to make sure they are lined up. I'm adding a bead of hot glue around the tubes on both the outer and inner surfaces. If you'd like, you can repeat this process for any of the other holes on the catapult. I'm going to be using the extra tubes to make an adjustable holder for the pencil that secures the rubber band. I'm placing a piece of masking tape on my work surface with the sticky side up. This will hold the tubes in place until I've glued them. Run a bead of glue between each of the segments. The pencils help to ensure the tubes are lined up and parallel. Create a second row, just like the first, making sure the tubes are lined up. Allow the glue to cool, then flip the tubes over to glue the reverse sides. Once both sides have cooled, peel the tubes off the tape and glue them in place on either side of the front face of the box. isn't very secure with just the masking tape, so I'm going to use hot glue instead. Very carefully install the throwing arm by sliding it into the first bushing than the other. Then you can reinstall the rubber band. 
You now have a few choices for the pencil on the end. Slide it through one of the tubes, then through the rubber band loops, then the tube directly in line with the first. As a final modification, I'm adding a pencil at the center of the base to create a short handle to hold on to while shooting the catapult. The location isn't critical. Just make sure to mark the same location on both sides so that the pencil goes straight through. Since I am right-handed and I'll be shooting with my right hand, I am pulling the pencil out on the left side to hold on to with my left hand. Your modified box catapult is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more details and to check out our other projects, visit our website at steamdesignlab.com.